There's something really special about the Android community. As we travel around the world and meet developers, we're really struck by the spirit of innovation and helpfulness and really how everyone is working together to build a better Android. I'm so excited to go to Android Dev Summit and meet the developers I've been following online since I started learning Android. The Android Developer Summit for me will be my first. I'd like to hear about all the awesome new libraries and things that Google has planned for us as Android developers. You know, as a platform, we build the foundations, the building blocks, the tools, but really the way that developers take those technologies and create new businesses, new apps, new games on top of it in ways that we could have never imagined is just so special to see. I didn't have a degree to back me up, but I started participating in Android meetups. With this little community of people online, I felt more and more confident on my skills. I wouldn't have thought that in seven years, you would be running your own Android meetup. I would have said, you're crazy. The Android community has been hugely influential to where I am today. You've got a massive community of people to reach out to, something that you actually depend on for your career. It's not all about take, it's also about giving back. It's so inspiring to hear stories about developers like Zara and Nick who've had a chance to join the community, uh, grow through it, and are now giving back and helping others grow. Giving back to the community and being involved in it as you can is vitally important to this whole ecosystem of Android. This is a really good feeling to be with people who speak the same language as you, even though we're all from different countries, but we all speak Android. Welcome to the stage, Dave Burke. All right, hello everyone, and welcome to the 2019 Android Developer Summit. It is awesome to have so many developers here to talk about the hottest topics in Android development. So in addition to the many Google engineers we have today, we have over 700 developers in person from 65. Today. From Android Studio 4.0 to Compose and more. And we are very excited to have you here at Dev Summit today. Our goal is to share as much as we can of everything you need to know about Android. There'll be nearly 60 sessions. There are 100 speakers. We'll cover modern Android development from Compose to Kotlin. You can learn more about modern distribution. And we'll deep dive on platform changes, including things that are in the works in important areas like privacy. At the Sandbox, you will find over 250 members of the Android team. They're all here to meet you. And you can find out when your favorite team will be here just by looking in the Dev Summit app. The live stream will cover everything that happens on the main stage, plus interviews and more. So I'd like to thank you for your time today and ask you to enjoy Android Dev Summit. Thank you. Good morning and welcome to What's New in Jetpack Compose. Uh, I don't know why it's called that because this is not really what the talk is about. It's more what is Jetpack Compose. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I'm Romain Guy. Uh, if you have any issues or problems, come talk to us. We'll be in the sandbox. Thank you. Thank you. All right, welcome to our session on what's new in Android Studio. My name is Jamal and I have with me Tor today. Today we're gonna to talk about all the latest new features inside of Android Studio. So please check those out as you're uh, trying out Android Studio. And with that, um, please download Android Studio uh, Canary to try these features out. Again, I'm Jamal and I'm Tor, and this is Tor, and thanks for coming to our session. Hi there, my, my name is Jose Alferrica, I'm a developer relations engineer working on Android. My name is Zid Boyer, I also work on the Android team. Well, the worker that you just defined as met, and now you can just use all the rest of the APIs like you would normally. So you can just call get work info by ID, give it the request.id, 
uh, and then you could get the work info and then assert that the state of the work request was success. And that's it. And yeah, just to finish up, there, these are some resources for you. So if you need to know any documentation, we have a lot of it at developer.android.com slash work manager. And these are your artifacts. Uh, so the work runtime, RxJava 2, testing, and GCM artifacts are all there. And thank you. Thank you. Uh, maybe you shouldn't clap just yet. You'll, when you'll see some of the slides, you might change your mind. So, <laughs> hi, I'm Romain Guy. Uh, I'm an engineer.